Hello, my name is Jim Raymond. I'm the Recovery Task Force Leader at the Colorado Emergency Operations Center. There's no one else in this office, so I'm going to remove my mask so that it's easier for you to hear me. I'm bringing this video message to you today to talk about building a recovery process for your community. As we talk with emergency managers across the state, we're being asked, what can I do to start a recovery process now? This is a good question, and it's important that we begin our recovery process right away. We don't have all the answers. We don't even have all the questions. But we have to start, and we can start here. Begin by building a local recovery organization. Communities that have been impacted by disasters in Colorado in the past know how important this is. The local recovery organization will guide your community on putting resources and talent where they will do the most good for your community. Start by determining the stakeholders, not just government officials, but citizens, business leaders, faith-based organizations, volunteers, and others that make up the fabric of our communities that will get us through this, maybe a little better, and maybe even a little stronger than we were before. Make a plan for determining the decision-making process to keep the organization from getting stalled when consensus isn't reached. We're not always gonna agree on the best actions to take. That's unrealistic. But it's important that we have a process to keep moving forward. Conduct a survey of the challenges that lay ahead and build a list of action items for creating a roadmap to this new normal. What does return to normal mean for your community? This roadmap will be different for every tribe, county, city, town, and place in Colorado. Understand that this will be a long recovery phase. Identify a lead recovery manager and build a communications plan to provide timely messaging as the community adapts to upcoming changes. What has the community learned and what would it do differently? Those are good questions to ask. Continue to prepare for other emergencies and natural disasters that will occur in Colorado. We're coming into wildland fire season. We always seem to have a potential for flooding somewhere. We have to learn how to respond to the upcoming challenges of natural disasters in a, po in a post COVID-19 environment. Stay informed. Many of our traditional disaster recovery programs have changed or are changing to meet the unique needs of this pandemic. Make sure you're familiar with the executive orders signed by Governor Polis. They all have an intent on making the recovery process easier and faster. Keep in contact with your local emergency manager and your local emergency operations center. Regularly visit state websites, which contain a wealth of information. A good place to start is covid.colorado.gov. Our organizations are spending a lot of money keeping people safer and healthier. The state is committed to helping our tribes and local governments get the most help available to them to cover the costs of this disaster. Determine your agency's point of contact for cost recovery. Attend a FEMA state applicant briefing. Other cost recovery programs are coming online, and this environment is changing rapidly, even daily. As I said, stay informed and build a strong administrative function and record-keeping process. Colorado is dependent on our small businesses and tourism. Guide Small Businesses to Colorado's Office of Economic Development and International Trade for information on loans, debt relief, alternative funding, and tourism assistance. Businesses can also find out how to get help from the Small Business Administration's Economic Injury Disaster Loan Assistance Program that's available throughout Colorado. Maybe the most important thing we can do is take care of ourselves and each other. Plan for behavioral health resources. A good place to start is the Colorado Crisis Services, but make sure your community has the resources available to help, especially our first responders, our healthcare workers, and our government workers. It's okay to feel uncertain and even afraid. We're gonna make it through this. Make sure we have a way to help ourselves and each others understand that and get the resources we need to continue to be strong as we move through the recovery process. We need to help agriculture keep moving forward. Connect our producers with USDA service centers for help. And don't forget, CSU Extension has a wealth of information for families, both in rural and urban settings in Colorado. Individuals can get connected and find answers to many questions by calling 211 Colorado. You can call from anywhere in the state and callers will get basic information to get answers to questions they have and start moving forward on their own. And lastly, Colorado has a strong volunteer spirit. 
engage with the volunteer organizations and encourage people to volunteer. It's the volunteers that are gonna bring Colorado through this stronger and better than we ever would be able to without them. We're gonna make it through this. The other day, a friend of mine at a fire department asked me about who I wanted to be when this was over. Because we have an opportunity to answer that question, not only for ourselves, but for our communities as well. We can take this tragic situation and plan for a better outcome. I hope these steps help your community through the recovery process. They're not quick fixes, but they are action items that we've learned from our past disasters and they will work if we work together and support each other in our community recovery. Be safe and be well.